Hi, welcome back to another air engine research video. Today I want to welcome any new subscribers and also for the older subscribers, thanks for coming and checking in again. I appreciate that. Um, I'm just getting over a bout of pneumonia, which lasted about five, five and a half weeks. So I haven't been doing too much, but I wanted to at least give an update on, on where I'm at. And to start with, for the new subscribers, uh, about 14 years ago, I decided I wanted to try and, and build an air engine and make it simple as possible. Uh, something that was easy to maintain or didn't have much to maintain and something that I could make myself or do all the, the work on it myself, which I have accomplished. But I'm afraid to say what I started out 14 years ago to do with something simple, it, it turned into quite, a, quite an expanded version of that, which as I show you a few of the pictures and videos, you'll see. And where I'm going to be going is to a, a simpler engine. While I was trying to go to sleep one evening not too long ago, I came up with another idea that I could use what I would call a floating drive shaft. It's not actually attached in any uh, hard or mechanical way. It can rotate inside of a three inch diameter drive section, <clears throat> which causes it to rotate, but it's not physically attached. So it, it's got less resistance than what it might have. And also, since it rotates inside of a a circular drive, it has a, a three inch diameter, but the piston only moves about one inch, which saves a lot of air, but yet you get the same effect of having a, a three inch crankshaft. Um, so I guess maybe I'll go ahead and start showing you some of the, the pictures and, and what all. Uh, the first one is going to be a diagram of my original three-cylinder air engine years ago and the next will be a picture of it actually the one that I did finally make so that's what that looks like uh, it's not real real complicated but it has two plates and it has bearings that run around inside of those two plates. And it's got slider valves, which are not too complicated. But since it works well, I thought, well, and I also got some suggestions, you know, to make a six cylinder instead of a three cylinder, which I eventually did do. But for now, I'll show you how this engine ran. ran pretty good, I'd say if myself. Um, but then I decided, okay, this the six cylinder, I'm gonna go ahead and work on that. So the next thing I'll show you will be the, the diagram for the six cylinder engine. Uh, let's see, where is that at? Diagram for six, there we go. That one you can see has a lot more parts to it and it's quite a bit more complicated because of the size of it, which is about twice, maybe two and a half times the size of the of the small three engine that I had made earlier. So the next thing then we'll look at would be the actual picture of a six cylinder. There you can see a lot more complicated things. It has 
valves that has an intake and an exhaust on it. It has 12 uh, arms that move those valves back and forth and it's just a lot more complicated but it is a, a powerful engine and it's about 14 inches in diameter and about 12 and a half 13 inches tall so it's quite a bit bigger now the uh the next one i'll show you would be the actual engine running the six cylinder so i've been working on the valve uh, push rod system for the last week making parts and putting it together and I finally have it ready to try running we'll see how it goes I'll start off with two cylinders <laughs> yeah if it goes pretty good and it could be like I said either two four or six cylinders and it ran best on four cylinders it seemed like anyway the next uh, one I'm going to show you would be the diagram for the what I call the model Y so I've been working on the valve uh, push rod system for the last week making mm. parts and that didn't come it out right for and some I finally reason. have it ready to try running we'll see how it goes I'll start off with two cylinders <laughs> yeah if it goes or Model Y. Nope, it's not working at all. Have to redo that, I guess. And then start the thing back over. There, maybe that's it. That's the... Uh, There we go. That's the diagram for the, the Model Y, which would be a three-cylinder engine. You can see it in the center. It has uh, three bearings that ride inside of a three-inch diameter drive. And I'll show you in a little bit in a minute uh, uh, how that works. Let's see, describing video parts for the three engine. These are some of the parts that I that I made just the other day to uh, just to show you how what parts kind of went into the first single engine. It's got the cylinder and it's got a pivot pin. The uh, three small pieces there are the the valve and then that center section which got the three bearings and then uh, up on the upper center, there's a, a balance wheel that I'm just going to use for kind of helping the thing if it's run on one cylinder or two cylinders because it won't uh, start on two cylinders without being in a certain position. Three cylinders, it'll start in any position, so that eventually will be what I have. Uh, okay, so let's see a video of my Y engine describing how it works. I'll go to that one. Well, I've been working on my thing some more today and I got the uh, 
the cylinder made and got the valve parts to it. I don't have the connecting rod that goes from here to here or from this part here. It would go from here down to around here somewhere so that when it turns that it moves the valve up and down. But at least I got this part of it done, so uh, it's just temporarily put together with a back plate. You know. Flywheel, so that if it wants, if you want to run it on one cylinder, then it would have the flywheel to make it continue. Air will come into here, and this rod will control the the push pull valve to <clears throat> either be intake or exhaust, and it's kind of where I am right now. Um, I'm going to have to remake this will be metal. Just the uh, piston shaft will be metal and there will be a three-quarter piston that goes inside that this will attach to. And then my plan is to make two more so I'll have a three-cylinder. And I'll have to remake the back plate because I changed the pivot point from about here to up here so this design is not going to be quite right. I'll have to extend both sides and the bottom, cut the top off a little bit so that it's more uniform. But as I continue to make things and see how they work and if there's any improvements or changes that I need to make as I'm doing it, I'll keep you posted. So, for now, thanks for checking in and we'll see how it goes. Okay, well, that's kind of where I'm at and like I said, as I work on it more and get some of the other cylinders and a new back plate made and uh, get the uh, connecting uh, rod made between the the valve and the and that center plate <clears throat> and first time going to try to run with air see how that goes so until I get around to doing that this will be all for today, and like I said earlier, uh, welcome to you new subscribers. And I hope you'll find it interesting and, and stick with me on it. And for the rest of you who's been with me for a number of years, thanks again, and until next time, goodbye.